Larry Mahan. Larry Mahan was a legendary rodeo cowboy who was profiled in the Oscar-winning 1973 documentary, The Great American Cowboy, died May 7 after a multi-year battle with cancer at the age of 79. Mahan appeared at the NFR 26 times, was named the Bull Riding World Champion in 1965 and 1967, and won six all-around gold buckles. Later in 1979, he was one of the first inductees to the Prorodeo Hall of Fame. Vida Blue Vida Blue, a left-handed pitcher who helped lead the Oakland Athletics to three World Series championships in a row from 1972 to 1974 and made six All-Star teams, died May 6 from cancer at age 73, according to his family and Major League Baseball. Blue was picked in the second round of the 1967 Major League Baseball draft and made his Major League debut at the age of 19 in 1969. Sean Keane Sean Keane, the fiddle player in the renowned Irish folk band The Chieftains, has died May 7. His family said the 76-year-old died unexpectedly at his home on Sunday morning, Irish broadcaster RTE reports. The Chieftains reformed last month to perform in Bellina for the visit of U.S. President Joe Biden. The Irish Traditional Music Archive described Mr. Keane as one of the greatest ever exponents of Irish traditional music. Mr. Keane joined the Chieftains in 1968. His career spanned nearly six decades. Terence Hardiman The English actor Terence Hardiman who terrified a generation of children in the titular role of the CBBC series The Demon Headmaster in the 1990s, has died May 8, aged 86. His death was announced with great sadness by his agent's Scott Marshall partners, which said he was a beloved client and much-loved stage and screen actor. Hardiman's chilling performance in The Demon Headmaster was based on the children's books of the same name by Gillian Cross. Grace Bunbury Opera star Grace Bunbury has died at the age of 86. The celebrated singer, who led an illustrious, jet-setting career, broke the color barrier as the first black artist to perform at Germany's Bayreuth Festival. Bunbury died May 7 in a Vienna hospital, according to her publicist. She suffered an ischemic stroke last year and never fully recovered. Bunbury was part of a pioneering generation of black women opera stars. Joe Cap, Joe Cap, a quarterback who led the Vikings to the Super Bowl in 1970 and once threw seven touchdowns in a game, has died May 8 at 85. He had battled Alzheimer's disease. Cap remains the only quarterback to play in the Super Bowl, Rose Bowl, and the Canadian Football League's Grey Cup. He was known for his ferocious and aggressive style of play.